everyone doing today? We are on the volcano map. This is Sadira, by the way. Happy holidays to all of you. <laughs> Happy New Year. We haven't seen you in a while. But this is a new year, a new update to an amazingly one of the older maps of ARC. But my goodness, there's been a huge update. And hold on just one second. Just one, one second. All right. So what happened was uh, they they put in some extra islands around the outer part of the map. Let me show you my map. Oh, by the way, I'm on, the server I'm on is called the Fallen Spirit uh, Volcano. We've been playing on it for about a month, a little over a month now, and boy, we are loving it. It's an amazing server. If you want to join us, all the info will be below. Okay, I can't see because I'm in K-Mode. Hold on one sec. Okay, so when I came in earlier, uh, I wasn't, my whole entire map had been erased. I couldn't believe it. But I think that's what happens when there's an update. So what you, you're not going to be able to see, actually, the, I don't think it's showing up, this orangey area that overlooking the top of my map is one of the new islands. And see, I've already been over there. I've opened that up, but it's not showing up on the actual physical map. So, but it's right across from where my arrow is pointing on that very outside outer edge. So let's go ahead and hop in that and go see that, check out that part. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Almost forgot. Now, what I want to do first is show off this new area here on this western section. It is so gorgeous. And he's, he said in his notes that he wanted to fix it because it's boring. <laughs> so it's like, okay, well, I don't know, but it looks amazing. Let me show you real quick. And, and I probably won't be able to show you everything. I've just been kind of writing. Uh, we are playing with Arc Eternal, and that's what this creature is that I'm writing, is this griffin. And he's sparkling because he's, an, he's uh, let's see, what is his actual name? He is a s elemental lightning griffin. So that's why he looks different. So a lot of the animals you're going to see aren't necessarily part of the map, but we do have Arc Eternal on the map. But anyway, those of you who have played on here will be very familiar, I think, with this western side. And this area here used to be a place where it, you just went up here and it was just kind of plain. And he has fixed it so beautifully. There's a waterfall now and a river that just meanders all through this area. It's so pretty. Let's see if we can get above the trees. There's a lot of trees here. Uh, so you won't be able to see it. And really, it's better if you see it in person. This is just to give an overview of some of the changes. But really, um, you'll want to come in and check this out. There are so many new places now I want to put, put a base. Uh, by doing but the additions that he added in here, he's fixed it way more places that people want to have bases over in this little western part. But you can see the river is meandering all through here. It, it's kind of like a little trout river kind of is the way I describe it with all the stone. Lots of resources throughout here and I was just kind of meandering through here and looking, and I came across this really awesome, uh, let's see if I can find it, uh, hole in the ground. And it ended up being, I couldn't believe it, I went down in there, and there's a huge, yeah, here we go. Let's see, see over here, this is where we are. Let's look at our map, and I'll show you that. It's over that kind of a dark area on the map right there. And uh, so you go in, and you can see all of a sudden, it's like this place that's full of crystal. And there's metal, and uh, I think I saw a little bit of obsidian. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And one of the, well, the reason I'm so excited about it is on this west side, it was very difficult to find crystal. So this is a great addition to the map. Look at this, isn't this awesome? And there's a little entrance there and an entrance it's it's not a real cave per se but i guess you, it's kind of like an open cave it's not where there's danger or anything and i don't know if danger will end up being in here um i'm one of the first people back on the map and you know how things spawn once you kind of open them up but uh, anyway this is a oh my gosh it was, is there a specific name for it i wonder 
northern Greenlands. Um, so I don't think that it has a particular name. Some of his places have names, and I, he may be, be going to name it later. Uh, the, the update just dropped a few hours ago, so all of this is new. And I know he has uh, some bugs already that he knows about, and he's going to be working on those and fixing those. Let's run over here to the extinction. This is one of the extinction areas. We're getting into late afternoon, I think, is why we're getting a little bit of... Uh, the color is just extra brilliant, I think, right now. But this is just, it's really beautiful. Uh, and if you like the extinction map, you're going to love this area. He said, it is, like I say, it's not, he said he's like 10% still to finish everything off. There's some spawning I think he's going to work on. But again, um, I'm not going to do too much exploring close up because I really want you to guys to be able to. Whoa, Sorry about the bumpiness. It's this griffin, I think, is what the problem is. See if it helps to go in first person. That helps a little bit. There we go. And there are, uh, there's going to be three titans now on the map that you're going to be able to spawn in. This is one of the spots. But they do not work right now, but he definitely knows about it, and he will be fixing that soon, I'm sure. Probably maybe even today. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't say that because I have no idea how, how much trouble it is to fix any of that. <laughs> But anyway, the, you can see there's just all kinds of nooks and crannies, and that looks dangerous. Oh, okay, I heard something. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I don't, I want, don't want to, to, let's see, what was it? I don't know what that was, guys. That was, <laughs> that was a crazy noise. Okay, so, those of you are familiar with the volcano, know about, he didn't bother anything on this island. And then the next place that we're going to go visit, this is the island where, you can find this really cool cave if you go down here and it's there's an artifact down there and it's full of very much danger all kinds of art the pleura and spiders and scorpions and everything but you go down in that little right in there and there's a cave but that nothing that has changed that's that's the same old volcano oh gosh it's getting dark i know that's not, not going to help much so anyway, we're going to go ahead, and like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I don't want to give away all the secrets, but there's all kinds of places that you can explore, all kinds of places to make new bases. I uh, found this little area, kind of a cave area down in here. There's a little canyon through here. Oh my gosh, he did such an amazing job. So beautiful. Here's the, is it called the Snow Titan, or... Can't remember. Ice Titan maybe is the place you can get him to come in. And then there's this little river through here. And this whole area, this is all brand new. If you look over here, that's the old snow and the edge, it goes up to the edge of the snow. This is all brand new. Let me see, I'll show you on the map where we are. Oh, too bright. Way too bright. Too much flickering. There we go. Oh, well, you can't even see my character. Again, we're off the edge of the map, but we're right under my finger. Uh, my ring finger. <laughs> so, anyway, so this this is what we have so far here, and then uh, it's just so beautiful. Look at all the new places you can build too, and all the little tunnels, and just so much uh, area. It just it added. I think he said 10, 20 percent of the more to the map, so it's even bigger. And I, I don't to be a PvP player, but I can definitely see potential for PvP here, without a doubt. But it's just gorgeous. Oh, man. My gosh. So, all right, let's go ahead and go into the next area. There's three new maps, and I believe he is going to be adding one on the south also. So, we look forward to that. But the last one, <laughs> the last area that he added... I kept looking over here and thinking, man, that volcano seems so much bigger than it was. And sure enough, <laughs> that is not it. That That's kind of an outer area. There's the original big volcano. And if any of you have played on this map, you know it is just so dangerous and so scary. And uh, I'm not going to, I'm actually not, definitely not going to be going into too much of this area here. There are all kinds of stuff, bad stuff spawns in in this area. And this is where you want to bring friends for sure to help. Oh, looks like I'm maybe, yep, I'm on the edge of the wall from there. So that, it looks like it extends out a little bit, but it does not. It goes out to this area. 
So see how cool it is? It's again, it's very extinction. There's a lot of extinction qualities here. It's just so cool. And as you, you can see the work that's gone into this place. I wish it wasn't so jittery, but that's, I think it's the uh, griffin flying. It's how the griffin flies with the, the eternal art griffin. I don't, maybe real griffin. Oh, the normal original griffins? I don't know. But this is my favorite animal for this map to get around quickly. So that's why I chose it. It's kind of jumpy. But anyway, so look at this. Uh, if I go up, you'll see the original. Get up behind, maybe I'll get in any danger. That right there is the original volcano, bad volcano. There's one toward the middle of the map that's a smaller one. But uh, you can see that. I mean, I thought that was a huge area the around the volcano, but it's not that big. And again, let's see if we can't look on our map. And uh, yeah, I'm off the map again. I don't know if they are going to be able to shrink the map a little bit to, or enlarge it to make us show up on the map on here. But we're completely off the grid, literally, <laughs> which is shows you how much bigger it is. I know the volcano is one of the most favorite maps of everyone who's played Ark, and rightly so. It's really well done. But look at this. There's a Element, element River, I believe. It's, it's liquid element down there, that pink. And uh, so much. Just It just looks like extinction now. And it gives you so many more opportunities of things that you can do on the map. I mean, it already as if there wasn't enough. There's, I don't know how many caves there are. There's, I, I don't know. Uh, I've got a list. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17 caves on here. I mean, more than that, I think. I think there's even more than that. I haven't been to all of them. And uh, so there's there's a lot to explore. He did add in to the ocean and the rivers. He did some things to that, and he said that he's not quite finished with that. But that will give you an overview of everything, the new changes that's going on uh, with the volcano map. And uh, you, I'll go back. I'll fly back around kind of slowly so you can get an idea from this direction. But you can see, oh my gosh, there's just so much more to do now. And so many more places to be able to... I wonder how far over I can go. Let's go check over and see. Because th that looks so cool over there, doesn't it? I love how he integrated that extinction look onto the map. Ooh, yeah, it looks like I can go in here a little bit further. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh gosh, that scared me. Woo! Okay, we won't do it. we won't do that anymore. Oh my, that was scary. Okay, so apparently along this ridge right here, that you are no longer able to go past. You aren't able to go past that. Oh, it's raining. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? But anyway, well, we're good. We're good. Let's go through here, and we'll go back the way we came, and you'll be able to get another eye, bird's eye view of how it kind of looks. But, um, I don't know. Put, put down in the comments. I'll be putting this on YouTube, and you'll be able to talk in the comments below. And uh, put down your favorite part of the volcano. I'm interested in what you, what you like about the volcano. I love it. It's there. If, if I show you on the map, well, it's so dark. Oh, gosh. Oh, you can't really see. If you've watched my past videos, you'll be able to will have gone over quite a bit of the volcano and you'll be able to see more of the different um, variety of different biomes that there are. It's not it's not a boring map at all. It's one definitely one of the best. Go back through but you can see um, even with it dark you can see there's lots of little caves, lots of little crevices that you can explore. I really like how he how it is the way he does his rivers, and I like I love how he's he act he's made accesses or access to be able to get on top of mountains. You get you can get up on see how you, there's kind of a path going through there. You're able to get up to places you might not think you can at first, but if you search through, you can, you are able to see ways up, and I love that in a map. That's one of my favorite things in a map is that if you can access 
um, how to get up to the top of areas and he did that on the Amessa Amessa map too it looks like there's these high cliffs like this but if you go around see here's that here in that cave there's that that's the entrance to that cave at the bottom where we flew over a while ago <laughs> there he always makes ac access so that you can get up to the tops of these places that's one of my favorite things of this and there are places that are super safe but there are also super dangerous so if you want any kind of excitement, you just don't have to go very far. But this is the most interesting of, of the three places because it looks totally different to me than I don't know what that was. What is that? Oh gosh, I don't want to get near it. But isn't it beautiful? Even at night it's gorgeous. And you can see different different areas that you can explore at night than you can see during the day. But anyway, that is our tour of the update for the volcano map. Um, be sure and let uh, Mike know how much, Seco, how much you appreciate all this hard work. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. Look at that. See, there's a platform going up. But you have to go kind of around the mountain to find it. If you're on foot, that would be difficult to find that. But there are places you can go and find the uh, place areas to explore. Let's go back over here. I think we're close to Steffi's house right here somewhere. Uh, she has a lot of pink trees, so it should show up. Well, nope, I don't see it. But I think, yeah, but there they are. Wow, that is weird how it just... I knew I was pretty close and I expected it to pop up better. Than it. That's Steffi's house. That's not the volcano. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of people playing on this server and you're welcome to play on it if you want. Uh, Archangel uh, is the server owner and he has it open to the public. So be sure and check out the information below. I just wish it wasn't so jumpy. So maybe, maybe when you go on the server it won't be jumpy for you because you'll use a different animal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're back in our little safe area. We're back in the safe cave. And... Uh, I hope you enjoyed your short little tour. It was for certainly fun for me. And we'll talk to you guys later.